Well, developing tonight, there's nothing but rubble left after an overnight fire at the Newcastle Street Departments building. You see it here. The city now struggling to figure out how it's going to operate. News 8's Travis Robinson reports. This is all that's left of a snowplow truck that was overcome by the fire last night. Now, that's just a fraction of what was destroyed, costing the city of Newcastle multi-million dollars worth of damages. Fire crews battled a blaze that burned for four and a half hours long, finally fizzling out around five in the morning. And by the time it was out, there wasn't much left of Newcastle Street Department. It's been devastating. We, we lost our, uh, the whole building. Uh, is laying on the ground, and I lost our whole fleet, so we're... We're going to be starting from scratch. Mayor Greg York says just one of the garbage trucks cost around $360,000, and they lost three of those, plus a bunch of other equipment. The city's still evaluating the fire, so they don't know how much was actually lost. We'll have to rent some vehicles uh, right off the bat. We'll, we'll have to certainly uh, try to lease some equipment until we can get the inventory built back up again. Hopefully, uh, uh, we don't have a snow blizzard next week that we won't need our salt trucks. So. <laughs> But with the way that 2020 is going, I, I, I can't guarantee anything. For now, neighboring cities like Muncie and Indianapolis are lending Newcastle some equipment, and the city's doing garbage pickup in an outdated truck. For this, they're asking the public to be patient as they try to get everything back on track. It, we may be a few hours late, we may be a couple of days late, but we'll, we'll get uh, all the trash picked up and uh, just be a little patient with us at this point in time. The mayor says they'll be setting up in another building and don't know how long it will take to rebuild to get back on track. When the building does get rebuilt, there are already some improvement ideas going around. This building is probably 40, 45 years old, so uh, I think with the size of the building, I'm sure there'll be a sprinkler system in the new building. So a sprinkler system would be a good place to start. An official cause for the fire hasn't been released yet, and the Newcastle mayor says this isn't going to have any impact on taxes. As we learn more, we'll keep you updated both on air and online. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.